A single scan can tell the difference between a water bottle and an explosive, believe it or not. Technology is getting better and better, and thanks to this new technology, airport security wait times are getting shorter and shorter. These modern security scanners may look like regular old scanners, but seasoned travelers have learned to look for lines using them over the past few years, as they are much better than the old X-ray scanners. You know, the old scanners that required you to take almost everything out of your carefully packed bag, or you would be held up because someone who apparently hasn't flown in 20 years forgot their laptop in their bag. But that's all about to change. These new scanners are making airport security less of a pain and a lot safer. Both the new scanners and the new inspection machines use the same technology, advanced x-rays. These new scanners can not only detect the shape of the items in your bag, but also identify the material they are made of. This allows the machine to distinguish between water and explosives in your water bottle. When I first heard about this technology, I was surprised because to my knowledge, x-rays cannot distinguish materials so accurately. Image of how an x-ray works. To explain more about how an x-ray works, it shines beams of electromagnetic radiation through an object, and depending on the density and thickness of the material, it absorbs different amounts of radiation. The result is a grayscale image, with the brightness of the pixels determined by how much radiation is absorbed. This allows objects such as knives or other sharp metal objects to be easily identified. However, older scanners required you to disassemble items like laptops, not because they couldn't identify laptops, but because the dense material of laptops could hide objects underneath. This is where the first upgrade to the new scanners comes in. They are CT scanners, which are essentially 3D versions of X-ray scanners. With an X-ray emitter and detector rotating around the bag on a gantry, CT scanners can create a 3D image, allowing security personnel to look around the bag without having to disassemble the laptop. What I don't know is how this technology can accurately distinguish between materials. How can these machines detect explosives? A bottle of water and a bottle of hydrogen peroxide look very similar on a regular X-ray image. To tell them apart, the scanner needs to determine the atomic composition of the material with high accuracy. At the same time, the machine needs to process thousands of bags a day quickly, with a minimum of false positives, and process all the other items in your bag. The first key to understanding this technology is understanding how X-rays are absorbed. The main method is through the photoelectric effect. When electromagnetic radiation hits an atom, some of that energy is absorbed and emitted as electrons. Denser materials have more atoms in a given volume, so there is a higher chance of collisions between photons and atoms. The same principle applies to material thickness. With thicker materials, photons have to travel farther through them, so there is a higher chance of collisions. For example, when looking at an X-ray image of a bone, although the middle of the femur is the thickest part, it appears darker, meaning that less radiation is absorbed. This is because the inner core of the bone is not as dense as the compact outer shell. To eliminate thickness as a parameter, the rotating gantry of the CT scanner can precisely measure the thickness of the material, allowing us to plug this variable into other equations. The next part of absorption depends on the energy of the X-ray beam. Higher energy X-rays are less likely to be absorbed and can penetrate denser materials more efficiently than lower energy X-rays. There are many variables that affect the absorption of X-rays, including the density of the material, the thickness, and the intensity of the beam. Every time I go through airport security, I always wonder how the scanners work, and this curiosity drove me to find out. The answer was so interesting that I had to make a video about it. Most of us have experienced the embarrassing situation of having our bags pushed into a hidden corner and having to wait for security personnel to rummage through our belongings to find the bottle of water you forgot to put in it. We don't like it, and neither do airport management. It slows things down and increases personnel costs. So banning water and water-based liquids from security used to be the easier way. But why are we suddenly allowed to carry water through now? What changed? During my research, I found that water has a classification of 
while hydrogen peroxide and other similar explosives have classifications ranging from 7.3 to 7.45. These numbers are so close together that I don't understand how the scanner can tell the difference. I wonder if the water is causing too many false positives, and that's why we're not allowed to carry water through security. You can simply think of it as atomic numbers, or effective Z, grouped together. And if you fall within certain bands, you will be classified as organic and colored orange. Mixed materials will be green, and highly absorbent materials will be blue. This is the first step. The next step is to take multiple images of the bag from different angles. The scanner builds a 3D model of the items inside the bag, allowing it to know their volume. Using this data, along with the absorption data, the scanner can estimate the density of the material. This technology has been used behind the scenes at airports to scan check baggage for quite some time. The challenge is to make the scanner small enough and reliable enough to work in a real security line, where getting people through as quickly as possible is key. The answer here is density data to distinguish materials. This advanced technology not only makes airport security faster and safer, but also saves passengers from having to remove everything from their bags. No one likes to wait in line, and making the experience as pleasant as possible is good for business. Especially when passengers are passed through quickly, they have more time to spend money on services on the other side. Security scanners need to process bags quickly, operate reliably, be easy to maintain, and not produce too many false positives, because that forces staff to do manual checks, which is annoying for everyone and increases costs for the airport. The next generation of security scanners uses X-ray scattering and diffraction to analyze materials, allowing them to distinguish between liquids. Currently, this method is too slow to use for regular airport checks, but has been applied in baggage check-in halls. Hope your upcoming flight will quickly pass the security check. Don't forget to like and sub to the channel to receive more interesting information.